tuning the drums is, is really kind of a, a challenge in that the drums sound different or should sound different for the different styles of music. So you have to tune the drums differently when you're playing jazz or when you're playing rock or when you're playing pop music. So what really varies from, from style to style is the pitch of the drums. And oftentimes in rock music, the pitch of the drums are lower. There's just lower sounds and they really have a lot more impact and depth to them. In a jazz setting, especially like a trio, um, the drums are higher pitched, so they don't, uh, they don't ring as much, and they're a lot clearer and sharper, and it works with the smaller, intimate jazz setting. So for me, there's kind of three different settings, you know, for, for the rock music, again, kind of lower in pitch, uh, big band or show drumming, kind of medium, and small group jazz is higher in pitch. The heads have a lot to do with it as well, so you just want to make sure that you have the right heads for the style of music that you're playing. Oftentimes, players use clear heads and, and pinstripe type heads with their rock music, and they use coated heads with jazz music. So I guess the, the secret is to, to determine what type of music you're going to be playing mostly, and then just try to tune your drums appropriately and get the right heads on the drums. And finally, the tunings can be gotten by listening to the music that you enjoy. And just when you hear a tom-tom, just get, it, get that pitch in your head and hit the drum and try to make your drum sound like that. I can't tell you how many drums I've heard or gone up and, and touched where I get that pitch in my head and then I try to match that. So if you like Dave Garibaldi's snare drum sound, or whomever, um, listen to them on record and try to get your drums uh, to emulate that sound.